Hello everyone, this is Simon, and in this video I'm covering a special trip I took up to Canada to watch Colson Aviation's Hawaii Mars make its final flight. I drove from Washington up to British Columbia on Saturday and took the ferry from Tawasson over to Schwartz Bay on Vancouver Island. I got in pretty late on Saturday, got a hotel room by Victoria International Airport, got some poutine for dinner, and tried to get some sleep because I knew I had a very long Sunday ahead of me. Since I was near Victoria, it only made sense to get up early in the morning and go down to Victoria Harbor to do some sea phone spotting. While I was there, I met up with fellow YouTuber and seaplane spotter Left Coast Cory, who is a local to the Victoria area. Here we see Left Coast Cory do anything with filming seaplanes. She shared a lot of her local knowledge with me, and I can't thank her enough for all the help she gave me. After three hours of spotting seaplanes in Victoria Harbor, which will be its own video, I drove up to Patricia Bay and tried to find a good spot to watch the Mars come in. I had about five hours to wait before the Martin Mars was supposed to show up, but luckily there was plenty of airplanes to watch and I could practice my camera work. A little history on the Martin Mars, it was originally designed to be used by the U.S. Navy as a long-range transport. The Hawaii Mars was delivered to the U.S. Navy in 1946. The Hawaii Mars eventually left U.S. Navy service in 1956. It was sold for civilian firefighting use and came here to Patricia Bay to undergo conversion to a water bomber in 1963. It could scoop up and drop 7,200 gallons of water onto fires, and its engines produced 10,000 horsepower. This was a nice seaplane spotting bonus. We got to watch this sky wagon ramp and then get picked up with the float truck. Eventually the type of aircraft arriving gave us a hint that the big event was drawing near. This Grumman Goose had been following the Hawaii Mars ever since it left Sprout Lake and did its farewell tour up and down the east coast of Vancouver Island. If it was here, that meant the Mars must be close. The crowd had really filled in, and everybody was ready. And then there it was, 
1945 Martin JRM-3 Hawaii Mars, complete with Snowbirds Escort. Seeing it fly by was amazing, but even more incredible was the sound it made. You felt it more than heard it. And then it was back to waiting as it flew down to downtown Victoria to do some farewell passes. Luckily, there were still more airplanes to watch to fill the time. Suddenly we heard it. The Hawaii Mars was back. Unfortunately, instead of flying a reciprocal course from how it passed over us the first time, it flew further to the east, which meant I didn't really have a shot of it. And as they just mentioned over the radio frequency, they decided to turn around and bring it in for a landing instead of doing any more passes, which was also a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I love it. They were probably walking on the Cedar Hill Golf Course, like, you know, they often do that. Yeah. Coming 
Snowbirds fly over with the camcorder, but I did catch it on my phone. Here it is. Unfortunately, I missed the last ferry home and had to stay one more night on the island. So in the end, it was three days of travel and six hours of standing out in the sun worth it to watch about seven minutes of the Mars flying. 